My Lord's first oral question, Lord Black of Brentwood. My Lords, I beg leave to ask a question standing in my name on the order paper. I declare an interest as a patron of the Terence Higgins Trust and Vice Chair of the APPG on HIV. My Lords, the first uh, HIV Action Plan monitoring and evaluation report shows that there is much to celebrate in the progress made since the publication of our HIV Action Plan in December 2021 with under 4,500 people living with an undiagnosed HIV and extremely high levels of anti, uh, sorry, antiretroviral therapy coverage and vi viral suppression. We continue working with our key delivery partners to ensure we, we remain on track to meet our own goals of 2030. My Lords, may I start with a tribute to the long-standing and deep commitment of Baroness Masham to tackling HIV yeah. and AIDS. We will miss her very greatly. Uh, my Lord, the goal of eliminating new HIV transmissions by 2030 will be almost impossible unless we find those estimated 4,400 people living with undiagnosed HIV. One of the ways of doing this is opt-out testing, where blood tests are routinely done in A&E departments checking for HIV, hepatitis B and hepatitis C. Is my noble friend aware that a pilot scheme in four major cities has already produced 261 new HIV diagnoses in just 10 months? That saves lives, saves money and relieves pressure on the NHS. Given the huge public health and financial benefits, is it not time to expand out, opt out HIV testing to all areas with a high HIV prevalence? I'm grateful to my uh, noble friend for that question. And if I may, I'd like to pay tribute to the late Baroness Masson and the work that she did on the APPG for HIV and AIDS, but also her work as a disability campaigner and a Paralympic athlete, she will be sadly missed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My Lords, I agree. The preliminary results from the pilot are promising, and we will be considering the full evidence from the first year of the programme, alongside the data on progress towards our ambition of ending new HIV transmissions within England by 2030 to decide whether we further expand opt-out testing in areas with high HIV prevalence. That's between five uh, cases per thousand people. My Lords, Paolo. 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 <laughs> My Lords um, I agree with uh, the noble Lord in what he said, and particularly also pay tribute to Lady Masham, who right from the beginning was a great campaigner on HIV and AIDS, and a very effective one. One of her concerns was the unacceptably high rate of stigma suffered by those with HIV, in spite of all the medical advances that have been made uh, in the period uh, since the 1980s. Will the government now initiate a new drive to combat such stigma? And they might even consider calling it Sue Masham's campaign. Well, I'm most grateful to my noble lord for that excellent question, and I do uh, agree with him. I think it's an excellent uh, idea, and I'll take it back to the uh, department. I refer to my register of interest, and in particular as a uh, patron of the Terence Higgins Trust. As the noble lord Black said, uh, opt-out HIV testing has played an important role in tracking down those people diagnosed with HIV but who are not receiving care. However, the Elton John AIDS Foundation uh, Social Impact Board found that even more success was achieved through HIV clinics audit and recall system. So therefore, will the noble lord take action to ensure that the HIV clinics are specifically funded to undertake audit and recall to ensure that everyone living with HIV is receiving the treatment that they deserve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm most grateful to the Noble Lord for that ex excellent question. I absolutely agree that it's very important that we keep uh, data for those uh, with uh, HIV. But as part of the government's HIV Action Plan, NH NHS England has exp expanded opt-out HIV testing in accident and emergency departments in areas of, highly, of high diagnosed high HIV uh, prevalence. A proven effective way to identify new HIV cases in line with the guidance by the National Institute of Health and Care Excellence. Chair of the All Parliamentary Group, I can just say that Baroness Wasm um, supported people with HIV long before it was 
popular to do so and she never ever gave up on them yeah. ever yeah. Yeah. Um, well, in the first 100 days of the, of the opt out scheme it has cost 2.2 million and it has saved the, the NHS between 6 and 8 million it's taken us 10 years to get to this very cost effective uh, intervention will the government now understand that there is a, a, there is a, re, a robust case for rolling this out not just to high very high prevalence areas but to high prevalence areas and in high pre, very high prevalence areas we've got the, we've got the length of stay of the di newly diagnosed patient down from 29 days to 2.5 all rounds round, there are savings to be made for the NHS by doing this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The noble lady rightly makes a, a very good point, and we are considering the full evidence from the first year of opt-out testing, alongside the data on progress towards our ambition of ending new HIV transmissions in England by 2030, to decide whether we further expand this programme to areas other than high HIV uh, prevalence. We will also share the findings from the uh, opt-out testing programme with local health systems to inform local decisions on expansion. My lord, um, my, lord my noble friend will be aware that, uh, that the drug uh, PrEP is very effective in preventing HIV transmissions. Therefore, can he tell the House what the government is doing to ensure that this drug is available to those who need it and when this will be available? And can I also say that I fully also support the uh, opt-out clinics. I think they're making significant savings, and I urge the government to expand them across the country. I thank my uh, noble friend for that question. We know that HIV prevention drug PrEP is extremely effective at preventing HIV transmission, and we are developing a plan to improve access to PrEP for key groups and in settings outside of sexual health services as part of our HIV action plan commitments. Lords, can I from these benches also pay tribute to the late Baroness Masham? She will be much missed, uh, not just for her work and effectiveness in this area, but in many others too. Mm -hmm. um, following on from the Noble Lord, the Minister's uh, answer to that last question, I think we all acknowledge that the great game changer here in the prevention of HIV is the cheap and simple PrEP drug. Mm -hmm. But there is a major problem with prescription, particularly for those trying to access it for the first time. So what assessment has the government made of the incidence of HIV because people cannot easily access PrEP? And will the Noble Lord the Minister look at extending the prescribing of HIV prevention drugs <coughs> beyond hard-pressed sexual health clinics to other sources, including GPs and community pharmacies? Thank you. The noble lady raises a very important uh, point there. PrEP is now being commissioned as a routine service, and PrEP funding has been fully uh, included within the public health grant, which will benefit over 80,000 people in the highest risk of HIV. But I do agree that having access from G GPs would, would be helpful. Thank you. My Lord, um, what is the Department of Education doing or planning to do in schools by way of sex and relationship education to prevent young people getting HIV and sexually transmitted diseases? I'd like to thank my noble friend for that, um, that question. Uh, the Prime Minister is also concerned in, ar around reports that inappropriate materials are being used to teach relationships and sex education with uh, young people. And as the Prime Minister has set out, we are clear that materials used must be factual and age appropriate. We have brought forward a review of the statutory guidance and will conduct a consultation on it later this year, as planned in line with the usual process. The review will look at whether we should place clearer limits on the content that is being taught to children, depending on their age. My Lord, um, there's been a significant and welcome increase in the number of people ordering HIV tests online, but when people go to the freetesting.hiv website, uh, they'll find that tests are only available in a limited set of local authority areas. Could the Minister look at the potential benefits of making this free testing service available in more parts of the country? I well, thank the Noble Lord for that question. I wasn't aware that it wasn't univers universally available uh, to all uh, health authorities in the UK, but I'll certainly pass that, uh, that question on. <coughs> Returning, uh, my Lords, to PrEP, uh, is it not the case that um, two years after its regular commissioning, uh, too many people are facing long waiting lists or remain unaware of the tremendous benefit that they could get from this uh, great drug? 
Well, I'm grateful to my noble friend for that question. If he knows of any specific uh, cases, I will certainly look into that. The National AIDS Trust found that nearly 100,000 people received HIV care in the, in the UK in 2019, and the le late Baroness Masham rightly highlighted the problem of stigma. Mental health services are disproportionately highly required for patients with HIV, and for those with advanced HIV, they need expert palliative care. So can I ask the government what the, uh, the government what they're doing to ensure that this population do get the palliative care and mental health services that they need because not everybody is living easily and well even despite the treatment regimes that we have. Well, thank you to the noble lady and also uh, the uh, noble lord Fowler on the point of stigma. Uh, we all recall what uh, the stigma was like uh, in the 80s and 90s, and hopefully that is uh, much better. In terms of palliative care, I hope and believe that uh, they do receive the palliative care that they uh, sh rightly should receive. And if you have any individual cases, please do come back to me. Second oral question, Baroness Wilcox of Newport.